How's it going, Bruce? I'm Bobby, and welcome back to some meta madness in Outcore. Uh, we've got one more file to find, so I'm assuming this is going to be the last episode. It was a free game after all, so I can't imagine it to be too long, but I'm having a great time with it so far, so let's jump back in, shall we? Hopefully we don't have to go through my personal files to find this, but, you know, if we do, fuck it, I guess. <laughs> as long as I don't give away any story spoilers again for the game. Let's do it. The last file's location is complex. There's a Lumi folder on your desktop. Can you open it? There are a lot of folders in here. And within each folder are more folders. And within those folders, there are even more folders. My file is in one of these folders. Manually guessing where my file is would be impractical. Does it end in dot byte? Is that cheating? Um, luckily we've got Kalev. He knows my smell quite well, so you should be able to locate the file by its scent. Hey Kalev, can you help Bruce find my file? Nice! Try to move your cursor over these directories. The beeping should get louder the closer the cursor is to the correct directory. That's cool. I like that. This isn't the right file. Hey Caleb, what's the deal? There are probably a lot of other wrong files beside this one. Let's try it again. Try to see if Caleb acts in a certain way when he's looking for the wrong files. Maybe there's a pattern in his behavior that shows up when he's making a mistake. Do we go all the way back to the base directory? Okay, so there's a bunch down here. Oh look, that one makes his eyes go doodacker as well. Maybe that's it. Yeah, let's check the eye ones. Let's try that one. Another false file. Let's avoid files that make Caleb act the same as he did for that one. Okay. So not the doodacker eyes. We want open eyes. Let's try that. Open eyes. That one? Not that one? God damn it. How am I meant to know? He's wagging his tail, his eyes have gone white. He's wagging his tail and his eyes have gone nowhere. Is that it? No. Okay, I thought this was going to be fun. It's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's kind of really fucking annoying. <laughs> We know the scanning thing is wrong. That's what I tried the first time. When he closes his eyes. Like that. <sighs> hmm. Will you say something when it's correct? Tell me you'll say something when it's correct. I'm just going to try every file. <laughs> nope. I think there might be two files. She might be right. Alright. So he only has two, th two things. His tail always wags. 
always. Waggy tail, nodding head, eyes blue. Waggy tail, nodding head, eyes blue. Wagging tail, nodding head, eyes white. <gasps> His tail lights up on this one. Maybe that's it. This is it, my last file. Give me the file. Okay, let's start the decryption process. One week? No, there's no way we're waiting an entire week for this file to decrypt. You're the master of this place. Can you figure out a way to speed up time or something? Can I just change the clock? But it's on automatic. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> God damn it. Change. Uh, 28th. Okay, how's that? Oh, they took one day off it. Cool. Alright. Let's just go October. Okay, for some reason, when I changed that, it completely cut out my audio, so I'm re-recording over the top for commentary. So this is in the next day when I'm going to edit it. This is what the rest of the commentary is going to be. Me watching myself fail at this game and then commentating over it. Apologies. I, uh, I did try to delete the saved data. Wait, Ophelia, shouldn't we at least tell Dad that we're going to the world above? Of course not. You know he won't let you leave. That's why we must do it in secret. There's simply no other way. Okay. I tried to delete the save data, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work, so this is the best way, I think. We're here. This is the Vortex, the place that connects our world and the world above. Now you can finally begin the journey you've always dreamt of. I feel like I'm not sure about this. I'm really scared. What if Dad is right and the world above is a really bad place? What do you want to do then? Let's go back home. I see. You're not yet ready to embark on this journey. That's okay, you can take as much time as you need. Although, this is the only chance for us to see the world above together. What? Why? Because I'm not going back. This dream won't fulfill itself if I keep waiting until I'm ready. It'll be a lie if I pretend I'm not scared as hell, but I have to close my eyes, take a deep breath, and go in without hesitating. Ophelia, I'm ready to go now. Goodbye, Lumi. I hope we'll see each other again one day. Wait, Ophelia! Don't leave me alone! Lumi? You haven't left your room in weeks. I know it's hard for you, but can you live the rest of your life like this? What reason is there for me to leave my room? There's nothing out there. My life would still be as empty as it is inside this room. I can't let my little girl stay like this. Isn't it my responsibility as your parent? Yes, absolutely. I have to become a better father. I'll do everything in my power to restore Lumi's happiness. Meaning I'm going to buy her tons of shit, apparently. That's how you achieve happiness for a child, apparently. You just keep buying them shit, and then eventually they'll be happy. <laughs> Except, of course, she's not going to be happy. She has to live the same day over and over again for her entire life. Who could fucking deal with that? I know I can't. That's why I diversify my, um, my, uh... Profession, I suppose. Because I just can't cope doing the same thing every day. It drives me nuts. Fine. I'll accept my fate to live underground for the rest of my life. Tomorrow morning I'll go back to my usual routine. The first three coins will spawn to the right. Not this again. Now another will drop from the left. Huh? What's this? This is a photo? 
to Lumi from the world above. Is this what it looks like? I'll do it. I won't accept this life. I'll prepare myself for as long as I need. And then I'll finally go to explore the world above. That's the way. Get it done. I mean, it was easy to convince her though, right? Ugh. Where am I? Well, I just... I was, wasn't I just about to enter the vortex? Hey look, she's awake. Are you okay? Who are you guys? We're just like you. Each one of us woke up here moments ago. Apparently we wanted to reach the world above and somehow we ended up here. Well, I don't like this place. It's a clear Danganronpa reference. This entire place is, by the way. <laughs> Hello. Hey. I've never seen someone as big as you. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often say I'm tall, wide, and thick. Some of these properties are mentioned more than the others. Oh, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Laifu. It's nice to meet you, Laifu. My name's Lumi. It's nice to meet you, too. My name and past are irrelevant. I didn't ask about them. I'm called Dr. Shinobi. Ever since I was born, I was trained to assassinate people. But I also treat their wounds. Okay, cool. At night, I quietly infiltrate my target's home wearing my extremely red and noticeable scarf. <laughs> it is soaked with the blood of my enemies, which I use to infuse my other enemies that I treat. Yeah, that's pretty nice. My purpose in life is to defeat my evil step-twin brother, Anarchist Lawyer, whose life is dedicated to causing chaos and disorder through unspeakable lawful and legal means. My quest is to take me to the world above, to find the legendary sword, Ash Madai. With it, I shall finally defeat my brother and become the leader of the Amputated Dentist's Clan. Okay, good luck. I'm going now. Hey! Why, hello. It's nice to meet you. What's with this thing? Oh, him? This is Man Ray. He's got a little bit of a condition, as you can see. Man Ray was born without a torso, head, hands, and feet. He's literally just a bunch of flying limbs and a neck. Poor thing. And who are you? My name's Guido, and my role in life is to act as a guide for Manry. You see, being born as flitting limbs means he can't see, hear, speak, and smell. I'm the only person slash dog out there that can understand Manry's heart, which also does not physically exist. <laughs> oh my god, Manry, don't use such language in front of everyone. What's he saying? He's angry about the fact that we're locked here. We were going to reach the world above to find one person who can make him whole. Well, good luck. Curses! How are we going to get out of here? <laughs> I have an idea. I, Mr. Mind, a married person by day, totally not evil genius by night, will use my extremely impressive powers of thinking. With it, I shall come up with a non-evil way to escape this place. But first, I have some unsuspicious matters to attend to. Well, he's unsuspicious. Hello, gentlemen, gentlewoman, and a bunch of floating limbs with a neck. This is totally a pre-recorded message and not a live broadcast. And a dog, don't forget the dog. You must be wondering why you're here right now instead of the world above. Well, the answer is simple. I locked you here. What? What do you want from us? Nothing. You're free to go. Just kidding, let's get serious. Welcome to the school for juvenile individuals who refuse to stay underground. I will not allow anyone to enter the world above. To make sure this is enforced, you have to spend the rest of your lives here. <laughs> There is absolutely no way I'm staying here. I don't care what this weirdo says. I'm gonna find a way out of here and into the world above. Wait. I don't want to stay here either. Can you please let me come with you? Oh. Um. Yeah, sure, you can join me. But don't you think we'll find the exit faster if we split up? Oh, I can't search for the exit by myself. I didn't mention it, but I actually can't walk. What? I have no legs. See? How did you even plan to get to the world above? Forget it, how are you planning on coming with me? I can't carry you. Oh, Lumi, you don't have to carry me physically. All you have to do is carry me in your heart. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Huh? Where'd you go? I'm inside your heart. This way, you and I can go together to find the exit. You're surprisingly lighter than I thought. Okay, Lifer, let's get out of here. Oh, and one last thing. There is only one way to get out of here. You must find the special treasure that is hidden somewhere within this school. And there is another one to get way to get out of here, which is to find my secret room. <laughs> Let's get find where the mastermind's hiding. Oh, mastermind room? 
Brilliant, I, Mr. Mind, found the Mastermind's room, which is definitely not my room. Now, using my incomprehensible power of guessing, I shall brute force the secret code to this door. Ha <laughs> ha! Brute force, eh? One, two, three, four. The obvious code. Or oh, one, 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 we could try that. You never know. Now we're gonna have to do some platforming, which, as you well know, from chasing that flowery boot guy around, is not my specialty. And it will become more and more apparent in this episode. <laughs> Sorry, I took you out of the fact that, uh, once again, I'm actually re recording over the top of this. And having to watch my own footage back, which is gonna be cringe for me, man. Achievement unlocked! It's gonna be cringe watching me fail at platforming like a doofus. <laughs> Usually it's uh, less noticeable when you're in the moment, you know what I mean? Lumi! Ah! Laifu! Don't just fade into existence like that, you almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry. But look at this! It's a treasure box. Remember what the mastermind said some time ago? There is one way to get out of here. You may have said something like that. Well, that's not all they mentioned. And that is to find the special treasure that is hidden somewhere within the school. Oh yeah, that's right. And remember how we just found a treasure box? It's a treasure box. Remember what the master one said some time ago? Yes, that happened mere seconds ago. So if we get what's inside the treasure box, we'll be free, right? Yes. But how are we going to open it? Isn't that booty? Why, hello there. It appears that you're in need of a treasure box opening key. <laughs> I don't know why is that voice. Luckily for you, I can sell you one for only 20,000 score points. Stop! Don't you dare buy from that imposter. Get lost, you cheap knockoff. Of a cheap knockoff. Never buy anything from a shady bootleg guy like that. Who would even fall for that? Anyway, I can sell you the tree key to the treasure chest for 20,000 score points. Hey, Lumi, do you even have that many score points? No. And let's keep looking around. Maybe we'll find more points. Good idea. I don't know why I changed uh, Booty's name, uh, Booty's voice to, I don't know, marketing speak. <laughs> hey, Timmy. Hey there, Timmy. Lovely weather we're having today. <laughs> Manray says he hates these platforming sections. Me too, Manray. He's trying to catch his breath, but he has no lungs. Cringe. <laughs> We need to find out what's over this side. For some reason. <laughs> this is what my brain said. We have to find out what's over here. Definitely. Oh, not an evil lair. That is definitely not where we're allowed to go right now. But thanks anyway. Oh, that giant door. We can't do that yet either. In fact, I still don't know what's in that giant door with the keyhole. I never forget it out. <laughs> now you can see my awesome platforming skills in action. <laughs> Do it, Lumi! You can get it! Ah, fuck. Lumi, wait! Where are you going? This is a dead end, I can't get to that platform. Don't lose hope, Lumi. You actually do have a hidden power that can help you. How? What are you talking about? Just trust me. Close your eyes and look deep within your heart. Okay. Why doesn't she do it? She's huge. She can just go, fuck. Lumi, look, you have a star. Cool, my dad also has these. I can't wait to try it out. What else is within your heart? Does it maybe tell you, who do you like? My heart tells me... Press the Z button to aim your star in any direction, and then Z again to shoot it. Huh? What is this nonsense? Always listen to your heart, Lumi. Also, I found this extremely hard to aim. <laughs> Clearly. It just won't stop fucking moving. But, you know. You would think of the amount of video games I play, I'd be really good at them, but... I guess that's just not how it works. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna cut ahead a little bit here because this takes me fucking ages to figure out. So I'm going to make a little cut here. 
and I'll be right back. Okay, well that didn't actually take as long as I thought. It was still an embarrassingly long amount of time though, and uh, I'm still absolutely cutting that out. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to it, shall we? Oh my god, I was meant to be reading that. I apologize. I'm sure you read it. Ah, you got this. I believe in you. Anyway. Oh yeah, I still gotta figure out how to, how to finish the fucking puzzle yet. Yeah. Oh, come on. I cut, or cut out being a doofus already. I was just trying to kill the, the gnome. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a psychotic, apparently. <laughs> now I'm trying to do the actual thing. <laughs> and I lock myself in there like an idiot. Why is that button even there? That's the real question. Oh my god. Fuck you, button. Fuck you. One day I'll get over this wall and then destroy everyone on the other side. What? Sorry, that was a weird thing to say. Yeah. Oh, why won't my stepbrother notice my feelings for him? I feel you, sister. That's fucked up. Oh, that's so fucked up. Our ancestors have been stuck here for a very long time. So long that they've established this village. It's more like a city. Oh boy, another beautiful and peaceful day here at the village. Yep, I'm sure peace will last for a long time and nothing will go wrong the next time you return here. I hate strangers who tell you random stuff before they before you even say anything. I hope they all burn. Move along, little girl. Where are we? Oh no, you made the mistake of coming here too? This is the escape room. The mastermind built this room as a fun school activity. The problem is they made it too difficult to escape. We've been here for years and can't solve the puzzle. Oh no! How will we get out of here, Lumi? There has to be a way out. Let's just try things until we find it. This takes me an embarrassingly long time to figure out as well. Although I do like pressing the animal buttons. So uh, we're going to do that for a little bit. Press some animal buttons, run around the room a little bit, see if there's anything else. That gnome has a big moustache, it's very, int it's very uh, impressive. <laughs> I don't see the cow. <laughs> or the rooster, actually. I'm not really thinking at this stage. Just pushing buttons. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody gonna help me? I thought she might be hiding something because she's massive and you can't see through her. Escape room. <coughs> Press the escape button to escape the escape room. Oh my god, she did it. What? We're finally free? Oh, of course we are. By the way, I happen to have exactly 14,795 score points on me. Since you released us, I'd like to thank you by giving you this exact amount of money. Thanks. You. Huh? You destroyed my town. My parents, my family, my friends, everyone is dead because of you. You damn villain. I will avenge everyone. Ah! <laughs> no. I can't lose. I will get stronger. I will... But we can't leave that way. So, uh, we're gonna have to get stronger too. Bye bye. <laughs> and now I get lost for a little bit trying to figure out where I'm going. You know, so I'm gonna make another cut here. We just need to get to boot, booty. I'll be right back. Alright, we are finally back to Mr. Booty. Uh, kind of. I'm just floating through the air like a fool, but we're here! Hey, Booty, we got your score points. Now you're gonna give us a key, right? Of course, here it is! Let's do this, Lumi. Here goes nothing. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, 
I am the ghost of the unpaid electric bill. I met my demise by falling out of the window after slipping on an unpaid electric bill. I haunt this treasure chest and electrocute anyone who touches it. And I will continue doing so until someone pays my electric bill debt. Ooh, my score point debt is... Uh, that is a lot of zeros. What? Sorry, I mean it's 4,970 score points. Hey, Lumi, you don't have any score points left, right? Yeah, I'm broke. Oh boy, how about you pay a visit to the school's lake fairy? The one who lives in the basement? That's right! In the lake lives a magical fairy. They say that the fairy will give you exactly 4,970 score points if you drop the most of your most valuable possession into the lake. <laughs> in, the, in the lake there is a fairy. Maybe I should drop Lumi. Very funny. Let's go see what this is about. Let's do it. And also we need to wrap this episode up, so... Oh my god, someone help me! Lumi, look! This poor pathetic and unlovable sock puppet is being bullied. Yeah, it is. Hey Lumi, do you know what would really impress me? If someone were to save the sock puppet from the bullies. Oh yeah, that would be quite impressive. I'm not going to, but... <laughs> uh, there's nothing you can do. I tried. I tried killing them. There's nothing you can do. Plus, everyone's mean to that guy. Curses, how am I going to climb up there? I'll figure it out later. I'm going to take a nap first. Greetings, prisoners of this school. This is a pre-recorded message set to play at this exact time. It is definitely not being broadcast live right now. Some of you may be wondering how to climb the platform in the basement. It just so happens that if you've awoken a star-shaped power from your heart, it might help you. Just shoot your power at the star target and you'll be teleported to it right away. Oh yeah, what a good nap I just had. Yep, that's totally what I was doing, just napping. I must read a lot faster when I'm just... I'm finding myself hard to keep up with. <laughs> I shouldn't read so fast. It makes it difficult to follow. You know? I'm not good at this, by the way. Like all platforming things, I am doomed to huge amounts of failure. I find the star thing unbelievably difficult to aim. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, God. I didn't mean to. Oh, uh, I did. <laughs> Ooh, just in time there. Nearly got splattered. I don't want to go down there. See, those skills. That was pretty nice, right? Right? Let me look. This must be the lake where the school's fairy lives. I can't believe there's an actual lake down there. Booty said you should drop your most valuable possession into the lake. My most valuable possession? Hmm. That'd be this photo. I really don't want to drop it. But if it'll help us get out of here and reach the wood above, then I've no choice. We didn't need that anyway. Uh -oh. oh, poor soul. Uh -oh. It appears you have lost something very precious to your heart. <laughs> Sorry about the accent. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it though. Uh -oh. Did you drop the silver photo of the world above? Yes. Preposterous, such dishonesty. Do you think I'm not aware of what you've really dropped into, into my lake? A regular photo. And here I thought that a kind, honest soul had finally found its way to my lake. I'm sorry. I don't know why I lied. Just I really need to get 4,970 score points so I can get out of here. Well then! If you want to get score points, you're going to have to prove you've got the power. What power? The power of... Love. <laughs> or to be precise, the organ that produces love. You know what I'm talking about. Your heart. Beating me in an intense physical race will prove your heart's strength. It is said that one, only one with a strong and healthy heart would be able to defeat me, so do you accept my terms? You bet. I'll show you why everyone calls me the girl with the heart of steel. Girl, the underground is a small place and nobody calls you that. Well, let's just start the race already. <laughs> Alright, well this race is going to be an epic fail, and while we, you get to watch me fail, uh, mainly because I end up talking to this heart at the end here. 
Uh, we are going to wrap this episode up after this failed race, and then when we come back for the next one, uh, we will win the race and continue with the storyline. Very exciting. You can get that achievement up there, but I could not reach it because I suck. <laughs> That's the heart, that fuck. Anyway. The fairy can fly for a start, which I feel kind of unfair, just then. I can't fly, but I also can't do that very well either, so. I'm gonna wrap this one up here, and in the next one, you'll see me do good-ish, I guess. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.